All right, you read the title. Um, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Ah, huh, say that ten times. What? Say that ten times fast. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Tearless. I want to edit that out, but I'm gonna keep it in. You know, what I mean, play it up. It is what it is. Starting off with dark fantasy. Easy, eh? Can we get much higher? Iconic. Oh my God! All these goddamn ads. I fantasize about this back in Chicago. Mercy, mercy me, that mercy a lie go. You kick the album off like that? Obviously, your shit's an A. The plan was to drink until the pain over, but what's worse, the pain or the hangover? Damn, who was this? Easy A, arguably Kanye's best intro track to any of his albums. Really, the only argument is Good Morning. Blame Game, a lot of people hate this song because the skit. Maybe a lot of people hate John Legend, you know what I mean? He's more boring than J. Cole. A lot of people feel that way. But I'm going to put Blame Game A. I don't understand why people don't like the skit. The song itself is good. Never understood Blame Gay hate. I never understood it. Like, bro, this song is written beautifully. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Legit. Legit. You can't tell me anything specifically objectively bad about Blame Game. I really don't understand it. Now, what I can understand is Lost in the World, Mid Cuddy. It sounds like something Childish Gambino would make. You know what I mean? Like, no one's trying to listen to that. It sounds like a Black Panther soundtrack. A uh, Avatar soundtrack. You know I mean, like the song, this song is just too Hollywood coded. I lost in the world. Oh, no, no. I mean, yeah, mid Cuddy. Mid, mid Cuddy. Hold up. Who will survive America? I mean, bro, it's a skit. Wait. It's not. It's not a really a song. I look. I look. You want to take this off? I'm. I'm gonna exclude this. Hey, we have gorgeous. The way it starts off. The second verse on this song is Kanye's best verse, ever. His whole career. His whole 25 year career. That's his best verse. And you can even say the first verse. For some reason, the song's not as talked about as much as it should be. Penitentiary chances, the devil dances and eventually answers to the call of all dumb, all dumb, falling for the love of balling. Got caught with 30 rocks, the cop looked like Alec Baldwin. You would think Eminem said this, but it's Kanye. He mentioned Jerome in this verse, so you know it's automatically good. I treat the cash the way the government treat AIDS. I won't be satisfied till all my niggas get it. Get it? Like, bro, I low-key feel like Kanye didn't write this. If you go back and watch my graduation ranking, I s so this was Beyonce. I thought that was a thick-ass white girl. Damn, that ass made me lose my train of thought. If you go and watch my graduation ranking, I, I went on a little tangent on how people disrespect Kanye's lyricism. His Goddamn. Kanye's a rapper. Kanye can rap, bro. And when he has verses like this, and then people say, oh, Kanye, he's not really all that as a rapper. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Creepy ass monkey. Why would you say something like that? No way. No, no, no. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. It's the third verse, not the second verse. I was looking at my resume, feeling real fresh today. They rewrite history. I don't believe in yesterday. And what's a black beetle anyway? A fucking roach. I guess that's why they got me sitting there fucking coach. My guy said I need a different approach because people was looking at me like I'm... <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Try different jokes. Tell them hug and kiss my ass, X and O, and kiss the ring while they get it. If you haven't already, you got to go back and listen to Gorgeous. Because the same people that try to blackball me forgot about two things, my black balls. This song has Kid Cudi in it, and I'm still putting it in S. That's how good it is. Like, I need you to let that marinate real quick. The song has Kid Cudi in it, and I'm putting it in S. What are we talking about, bro? I low key, like, low. Ah, 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 ah. Power. Ah, I'm conflicted, y'all. You just gotta think about how this, how power starts off. Oh. Ah. It's like some NFL theme song. 
This song is perfect for sports, bro. This song just sounds like the playoffs. Uh, now this will be a beautiful death. Come on, you gotta put that in us, bro. And there was a time where I would've put Power and Mid Cuddy. But that's because I didn't really recollect it. I'm just thinking, no one band should have all that power. Like, all right, I'll say that part in itself is not, it's nothing spectacular. No, no, it's not. But you got to think about the song in its entirety. You put this shit in S. Easy S. Yeah, all of them. We get controversial. All of the lights. This is mid. This song is mid. It's mad, bro. Kanye had a weak verse on here. Rihanna's chorus is nothing. All oh, that, bro. I don't know who it is exactly, but towards the end of the song, someone singing the chorus. Turn up the lights, young baby. Extra bright, I want y'all to see this. Squidward on the fucking clarinet vocals, bro. All the lights is mid, bro. I don't get why it's such a, well, it has Rihanna on it, right? Rihanna was like the biggest thing on earth on this drop. So was Kanye. It also had Elton John on it. It also had Mid Cuddy on it. So that also notches it down. Definitely the most overrated song on here. Might be Kanye's most overrated song in general. Monster. I'm gonna put this in now, I know a lot of people like this song for whatever reason. Mid Cuddy. I would put this in Cartel Torture Method because everybody had a bad verse on here, bro. Rick Ross sounds like he's recording from the room next over. Kanye's verse. <clears throat> Jay-Z's verse. <clears throat> the beat. <clears throat> The concept. <laughs> the only thing that saved this was Nicki Minaj, bro. Nicki Minaj is saving this from being in cartel torture method. Mid Cuddy. I don't really think that's debatable. Like, really go back and listen to that song. You'll say to yourself, damn, this, damn, this is a Tony Schnell ass song. This song is like 2018 LeBron, bro. Who's Rick Ross? Kyle Culver. Who's Kanye? Jordan Clarkson. Who's Jay-Z? Kevin Love. Nicki Minaj is LeBron. So appalled. And you want to know something? What's crazy is this is the most underrated song on the album. Because who the hell talks about So Appalled when they bring up My my Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy? Who the hell talks about So Appalled? Oh, So Appalled is so good. I'm so appalled, spalled and bald, bald and Donald Trump taking dollars from y'all. It's like that same lyricism he had in Gorgeous. But then he translated it over to So Appalled. Everybody had a great verse on here. The opposite, the antithesis of Monster. Jay-Z said, I lost 30 mil, so I spent another 30. Because unlike Cam, a 30 million can't hurt me. Fucking insane. The fuck am I saying? Not only am I fly, I'm fucking not playing. All these little bitches too big for their britches. Burning their little bridges. Fucking ridiculous. Oh, and the fucking ridiculous. That's hard. I'm censoring myself so YouTube doesn't flag me. And so I don't have to edit it. You know what I mean? Think smarter, not harder. And I didn't even get into how cold this beat is. I don't even like dark beats. But this did it. And it has to... You know what I mean? It has the, the vaginal rub made a beat. Pusha T said, success is what you make it. Take it how it come. A half a male in 20s is like a billion where I'm from. An arrogant drug dealer, the legend I become. CNN said I be dead by 21. What are we talking about? This is how he starts his verse. This is in his own tier. This is the, 
best song on the album. I don't understand why it's not talked about more. Nobody had a bad verse on here. In fact, everybody had an S tier verse. This is the 2018 Cavs. This is the 2018 Warriors. Devil in the new dress. I mean, easy S. I think everyone will agree with this. Rick Ross had his best feature. Smokey Robinson sample hitting like Chris Brown in 09. I don't think there's much argument for this. I think everybody likes that song. Everybody can agree Devil in the new dress is one of those ones. Run away. Oh, oh she This is where things get tricky. This is where things get sticky. This is where somebody may want to pick up a blicky. And maybe aim it towards me and hit me. Maybe shoot me in the head, shoot me in the kidney. Shoot me in the leg or shoot me in Disney. You know what I mean? That's off the dome. Come on now. No, this song is not in cartel torture method. Put this song in A. I look you want to put it in mid cutty. It's really between here, bro. And it really depends on the day. People overhype this song so much just because the piano in the beginning. It's like, all right, bro, it's one key, bro. It's like, bro, okay. Why is that enough for you to say, oh, this is Kanye's best song? Kanye West, his best song. <laughs> what, what, what is wrong with you? Hot take. And the ad on top of that, bro, the chorus isn't even that good, bro. In fact, you can argue that the chorus sucks. And he's doing it multiple times throughout the song because he's the chorus. Pusha T, like his verse wasn't all that, bro. I'm moving you here, bro. I know that's very hot take. Hot take of the century. Run away. You're mid cutty. You're not Kanye's best song. You're not. Hell of a life. Put this in A. Oh, 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 oh. Hey now, hey now. I know a lot of people think Hell of a Life's the worst song on here. For whatever reason. People think. Hell of a life's the worst song on here. I don't understand that. Obviously, people get to run away in this album. Then they just stop listening to the rest of the album. They don't even know Hell of a Life. Matter of fact, let me look at the track listing. So yeah, people get to run away. And then they just forget about the rest of the album. Hell of a Life is better than Runway, bro. The theme of this song. I think I fell in love with a <clears throat> one star. And then that actually did end up happening. So not only is this song good, audiolistically, it prophesies his future. People are gonna have the nerve to say this is the worst song. The things he says on this song is crazy, right? And there go the chorus. Have you lost your mind? Tell you that we crossed the line. Like the whole song is about doubling down. I think I fell in love with a Han star and got married in the bathroom, honeymoon on the dance floor, and got divorced by the end of the night. That's so poetic, bro. I'm not saying I haven't felt that way towards a star, but you know what I mean? And most of us have been to that point of our life where, yeah, we're talking to a whore. We low-key know she's a whore, but we just so attracted. I mean, this is something that should happen to you in your younger years. I don't think you should do this. Like, if you're, like, over 25, over 30, it's like, bro, get a grip. I'm not talking about her vagina either. I'm talking about a grip on reality. But, yeah, bro, that song, this, this song, this song is good, bro. I don't know why people say it's the worst song on here. But, yeah, this is the definitive My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy ranking. Um, Disagreeing is wrong. There's literally no way you could disagree. Like, all my points were valid. If you disagree with this, I will find you, bro. And I'm going to make sure everything happens to you.